Nothing is more discouraging than pouring time and effort into your code that never seems to work. Learn how to conquer this frustration and stay motivated towards your goals, even when it seems like everything is going wrong. Sometimes it seems impossible to find the motivation, but I encourage you to try some of the things I have found over my career below. And if you want help staying motivated as a dev, then I encourage you to reach out. I've created the Coding Career Fastlane to help you accelerate your career wherever you're at in the process. Let's get started with the content. First and foremost, staying motivated. One of the best things you can do is join a community, specifically in your interests, generally around like-minded people going towards the same things you are. It's a great way to stay motivated because it's gonna be really refreshing and revitalizing when you get there and realize there are a ton of people thinking what you're thinking, which is pretty exciting, especially when you guys put your heads together and build something and talk about something and communicate. Also, when you're finding a community, look for the niche you're in, whether like mine was MeanStack, I love the MeanStack groups back in Dallas. Second thing to do to keep yourself motivated. When things are getting a little boring, don't be afraid to jump into the deep end, into something a little unknown. Why to jump into something a little unknown? Why do I say that? Because tech is always changing. And sometimes the best thing you can do is find where your boundaries are and limits and push them a little bit. So learning the Go language this weekend for fun to build a really badass CLI tool because it sounds like an epic idea and you have no idea how to do that could be very beneficial to your career. Also at the same time, I have a great example for this of jumping in the unknown. I didn't know how to create a good simulator. I wouldn't say good, it was my first attempt. I came home from the casino once and really loved the game of roulette. I, I find it a fun time, always losing it, but I still find it fun. So I came home and built a roulette simulator just because I realized I was looking for something a little bit more that time to stay motivated. And I found that as the perfect little side project to, to jump on into to figure out how to do. Now the third thing in motivation is teaming up with people I found is really helpful on a project or an open source project to work on something and collaborate together towards a common goal. Now I, I get this one's a little bit like the last, but when I say teaming up on this third point, it's all about actually a team of like two to three dedicated towards one goal, not an entire group just checking things out, not an entire side project by yourself with the unknown. You could pair these with this, but ultimately this one is specific to a project. I like to think of this as open source projects and like NPM packages is one of my favorite things to team up with people on. Fourth point, finding a mentor to stay motivated because ultimately we want results, right? And when you get unmotivated, it's generally from the failure you're experiencing because you might have some burnout, you might have some confidence issues. A lot of things are creeping on in at this point. So you want to find a mentor that has been to where you want to be because they will help you get there and them being there before they can show you the plan right away and you can start following it and it's really revitalizing i use that word twice now but it truly is when you see the plan someone's laying out in front of you to get to exactly where you want to go the fifth point the work life balance don't let one side drag you down more than the other because at times life can drag you down or work can drag you down make sure you find that balance of work and life and when you do, it can be very motivating to stay on top of the work-life balance because it's really easy to become unmotivated when you let one drop further than the other. So I get this as an easy point of just saying, oh yeah, keep it balanced, but no, truthfully, if you want to stay motivated, make sure you are walking that line correctly right down the middle so you have that balance. And I get also the line will shift for different people. Like I much rather work all the time and have less of a life balance, but that's, just me, I'm crazy like that, you know? Last point on here, to stay motivated. Find a fun side project. So a great place for that is ideas, startups. Something around AI right now seems really fun. And also VR, because between those two things, man, is the tech industry blowing up with all these crazy ideas. But something that's fun, and maybe even something in a hobby of yours that's interesting to you. Now, these fit with all the other ones, but I feel like this one stands out because it's like you're at the ice cream store indulging in a whole pint of ice cream. It's here because you're indulging in something that truly interests you outside of your goals, outside of getting you closer towards something you've been working for. It is something that will motivate you because of how hard it is or how interesting it truly is to you. Now, in summary, the problems you will get will get tougher as you keep coding in your career. It truly is inevitable. My recommendations to you today are geared towards building a network 
because it's one of the easiest ways to stay motivated as a developer. And it's something I've seen over the years that if you can find that network, motivation comes a bit easier. So there's lots of other things you can do outside building a network, but I wanted this one geared towards that today because I know if you follow that and have this network around you and these people and you're surrounded by all these like-minded people, great things will happen. Now, if you feel like you want help accelerating your coding career around learning to motivate yourself, then sign up down below and join me in the Coding Career Fastlane. It's a service I've built to help you accelerate your career wherever you're at in the process. That's it for today. Go ahead and hit that sub and like. If you got any questions, feel free to reach out. And until next time, I'll see y'all later.